Okay, thank you for joining the Average Golfer here at Heswell Golf Club. I'm out on the course, the sun is shining. Yes, it's a little bit chilly, but it's a gorgeous day for playing golf. And I'm out on course with the P760 irons. The forged iron that, at least inside, dry ball data, I thought was absolutely superb. Great feel, classic, classic blade. But I thought it was kind of, it was a classic blade, but playable. And uh, it's what it's a club that I love the look of, but I want to see how I can do out on the course with it. So I'm going to play a few shots. I've got four iron, seven iron, pitching wedge. I'm going to have two holes to warm up. I'm going on to the back nine. It's still busy. It's always busy at Heswell Golf Club, even on a Thursday morning. Uh, but I'm going to get uh, get a few, few holes warmed up, and then I will uh, start it a few a few four irons, a few seven irons, a few wedges into greens, and I'll give you my feedback of how these things perform in the hands of the average golfer, in reality, out here on the golf course. Okay, so from testing, uh, seven iron was around sort of the 150 mark for me. So much more, this is, don't forget, much more down this sort of traditional loft route. I think this, from memory, was 34 degrees. So like I said, traditional lofts. And I'm gonna play this, this is 155 to the pin, slightly downwind, over water, and uh, we'll see how this thing performs in, uh, like I said, a, a difficult situation. You wanna make sure your numbers are right for this type of shot. Like I said, anything short, anything miss hit, is gonna be straight into that pond. We should pick that one up off the um, off the other camera that we've got switched on here this morning. But uh, the interesting thing for me was plenty of uh, yardage in terms of carry, and I think about bang on. I pulled it down the left hand side, but I would say 155 was bang on in terms of the yardage and distance. Well, it's a few more shots and see how true it sticks to its uh, dispersion, let's say, in terms of yardage that we found from the dry ball data. Now arguably one of the reasons why average golfers don't use blades is really because of the, the longer irons and as soon as I think we can all, well, we all use wedges in the, that are very sort of blade like and we're fairly comfortable with it and even in the shorter irons they're fairly comfortable. So I'm going to play next a four iron off the tee and when the blade starts to get that little bit small and compact that's when we start to get perhaps just a little bit nervous. Uh, so this shot that I'm going to play now like I said would uh, be one that I'd be skeptical about being able to, it's a decent shot with confidence from a tee box. So let's see how we get on. I just want to talk about the three shots that you see me just hit there from just short of the bunker. They were, uh, they were the seven iron. And I feel really comfortable with the 7-iron and uh, I would imagine anything, I've got 7-iron and pitching wedge and anything between those two I'd be more than comfortable with. And the interesting thing is that the three shots that I hit, the first one was a little bit heavier than the second two, the second two being much better strikes. And that feedback came right back into my hands. I knew that without seeing where the balls had landed and that's what you get I think from forge clubs, precision made forge clubs, give you a real understanding of how you've hit the ball, how you're swinging the club. And sometimes, like I said, the chunkier things, they just give you a feeling you're slightly getting away with stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's the thing is that, but look where these, these landed. Where are we now? There's a, if you just see down, that's the ball that I got a little bit heavy. And then them two there are literally a foot apart from pretty much identical strikes. and. The problem you've got is, like I said, from 7-iron down to pitching wedge, absolutely really comfortable. The 4-iron hit off the tee, not so comfortable. And uh, that's the difference with these clubs. They separate the men from the boys, and unfortunately, I know which category I'd fall into.
Right, so I've run out of memory card out there on the course. We'll finish this one off uh, very, very briefly here at Tuplo Towers and give you my overall assessment, and it'll be very brief. I think you get the idea. I really like them. I love the feel of them. I love the size of them. I, love, I like the look of them as well. I'll throw that one in because I had a bit of criticism for the way they look, but I have no issues with them, to be honest with you. But I'm on a personal level, these are the kind of golf clubs that I love to play. But I love to play when I'm playing well. I come from MP5s two years ago. I haven't used them for uh, many years. And this again is small and compact. I think it's a little bit more forgiving uh, than Blades of Old. I think that's one thing that's improved massively. But the bottom line is you still have to be trying to find that sweet spot. Maybe just need a more consistent strike pattern than one you get as an average golfer. And that's certainly the case in the longer irons. Like I said, from seven iron through to pitching wedge, I had no problem whatsoever. And honestly, I just find it such a pure feeling when you get a ball out the middle of one of these clubs. The feeling is uh, is one of the nicest things in golf when you strike a pure iron, a pure forged iron. And that's exactly what these are. From the, like when I moved into the four iron, I hit a couple of shots off the tee there, which were okay. Um, a little bit thin, they weren't bang out the middle and they were, they were okay, certainly yardage is then starting to drop off through not finding the center spots so like i said sorts out the men from the boys and i think unfortunately i'm uh, slowly falling into the category of needing a bit more of a, a bit more assistance and uh, not quite good enough i don't think to use these things uh, consistently uh, so yeah if you like the ford if you've got that capability there and, th and that's the market that they're aimed at as well let's not forget uh, then give them a try because they're a super super iron they're pure in terms of the sense of the that forge feeling absolutely fantastic anyway that's it review done i will uh, shut up and uh, i'll see you soon